Hey Sunday Vs, this is Super Summer God Barbecue, and today we are going to be starting the Road to Glory. Or should we say, Pro to Glory. Yeah, I'm talking about a pro. A WrestleMania pro. A very good WrestleMania pro. And that, well it's not actually that great, but you know. <laughs> I'm just building up right now, I'm like, yeah it's awesome, it's awesome, it's Cedric Alexander. And that's not the only pro, a lot of people are going to get themselves a Brian Kendrick pro and a Bray Wyatt pro. Bray Wyatt has been an undercard for either RTG or RD in the past. Kendrick was an undercard for the first ring domination of season 3, and Nakamura was very recent as well, so there's going to be a lot of pros here. Kind of like the RTG the other day where we got ourselves Ty Dillinger as well. Uh, that Ty Dillinger event was amazing, very, very good for a lot of people, but obviously the big prize. The main event, Mr. Main Event, Shawn Michaels, the showstopper, the headliner, the sexy boy. He is obviously what we're looking for. And I've got a lot of trains to do, a lot of cards. But as you're about to see now, Cedric Alexander is a pro. He is down here. He's going to be my fourth pro in the tier. And uh, in this upload, we're also going to get our fifth pro. And a set of my first WrestleMania 33 King of the Ring Awards. Are you hype? I'm pretty sure you are hype. Let's just get our hype even more. Here's a WrestleMania Pro, Bray Wyatt. When did I get him? In my last episode. Go check it out. We did a pack opening. If you haven't seen it already, there is Bray Wyatt. He is pro. He's not free level yet. I put some enhancements in my old packs that I did for the, the tier. And he's an awesome card. I used a WrestleMania Season 1 image because I think it's his best image today. Plus, it doesn't have all the red stuff on the outside. Otherwise, I'd have used a WrestleMania Season 2 image. But the fact that he is a card at all in his tier is great, although he's not one of the best. But Cedric Alexander, again, another one of the not the best cards there. He is going to be a pro for me. Very happy. If any of the cards in Road to Glory are a pro for you, let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget also to like this video. If you could do that with a head butt off the top rope, I'm not talking about the one from Chris Breakfast. I'm talking about the one from Daniel Bryan, just in case someone gets annoyed that I used the B word. But anyway, don't forget to subscribe whilst you're there. So, lots have gone on. You're going to see a lot of uploads in the next couple of days. Road to Glory is lower points, and I'm, I don't know whether this was intentional, but the points are really, really similar to the Flash Road to Glory. I mean, I don't understand what's happened, but it seems as if this event is designed to be less time because it starts at 4 p.m. I mean, it's 3 p.m. now, literally. Sorry, 3 p.m. It's 2.57 in the afternoon and the Road to Glory is about to start. I'm about to start streaming the Road to Glory and honestly, it's I'm surprised. I'm really, really surprised. Yes, it's going to be difficult. There's not even a point denying that. The wall is back and the wall is probably going to hit about... If you're in ultimate tier, probably about the point you get to about 100 points on Kendrick. If you're in WrestleMania tier, I'd say about 100 points into Alexander and about 60 points into Michaels. This is what I believe is the most fun part of Road to Glory. The beginning, when it's really difficult. And I wished that they'd keep the difficulty as high as possible across the tier. But unfortunately, it seems there's like a points gap. Maybe if just the last 50 points were just really, really difficult. I would just like it if we had a bit more difficulty in the latter Road to Glories, but this is why this one is so much fun. Shawn Michaels is going to be a pro. It's going to be amazing to see his stats. If you're going to get a pro Shawn Michaels or a pro Kendrick, let me know in the comment section below. Maybe the Saint Pan for WrestleMania week, which might explain why the update released early. You can let me know what your thoughts about that are. Maybe we'll find out later on. Uh, maybe a special event. Maybe another QR code event. And we are going to segue out now. This is something that I have not done for many, 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 many tiers in Supercard. Finally managed to do it with WrestleMania 33 tier. And I'm telling you now, but the luck is just insane. So I'm going to segue out to something I recorded the other day. Go check it out. And yeah, enjoy. Now, I would be lying to you if I said that I had not had unbelievable luck. In WWE Supercard Season 3 thus far, it has been insane in WrestleMania tier. I mean, literally, in terms of packs, 
and freebies and pulls. I have pulled more cards and some of the better cards off the board than I've ever done. I mean, I've been looking through the best and worst cards, and Jesus, some of the cards I pulled have been at the top, and it's been really, really, really lucky. This time, however, I get to give you the ultimate pull. The, not an ultimate pull, but the ultimate pull. For the first time in a long, long, long time, at least over a year plus, I have finally packed a pro of my freebie. It has finally happened. Genuinely, since I believe, if I'm not wrong, back in Survivor tier, I think, for a pack. Yes, okay, fine. It was another pack, but... It was one pack I did. I thought, you know what, let's just do it. Uh, and not one pack turned into two packs. Two packs turned into three packs. Trust me, this first and second packs were like Braun Strowman and Enzo Amore from Ultimate Tier. They were nothing to discuss. But there is one thing I got which I'll show you in a second. So I'm so hyped to have myself a pro Brock Lesnar. I know lots of people have been opening packs in WWE Supercard. Let me know if you've got yourself a pro or you pro your freebie in the comments section. I know a lot of people got Ellsworth. And we're very happy last week for Ring Domination. The rest of it was bad apart from... <laughs> Kendo! We don't want to talk about that guy. We don't want to talk about the Kendo. We want to talk about Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar. The pro. Happy. Finally. So here he is. Fully leveled. Ready to go. Here is Brock Lesnar. We are going to token him and pro him right now. I am going to do very basic set of stats on this one. It's going to be power, toughness, and speed. And I'm going to put one in the proc for one and one in charisma for the other. Um, I'm going to just put that in there. There we go. There we go. Combine. Yes! Pro Brock Lesnar. What a pro. Amazing. And he is going to have some stats that are off the chain. There we go. Brock Lesnar is done. Uh, we're now going to segue out to some WrestleMania King of the Ring Awards. Not just any, but my first ever WrestleMania 33 King of the Ring Awards going up right now. Stick with the WrestleMania Fusion image for this Brock Lesnar. I'm going to level him up as well with some cards. I think I've got a couple of cards I can use. I've got a uh, ultimate uh, enhancement here as well I can use. Let's see. Yep, yeah, that'll get him up so far and then we can just go from there. So 33 of 55 is already overpowered as hell. Let me know what you think of that in the comment section. We're going to segue out now to my first ever WrestleMania 33 King of the Ring Awards. I know you guys are hyped. We got ourselves a WrestleMania and Ultimate card. And the reward was really good. Really good. As we're about to claim these King of the Ring Awards, unfortunately, Supercard had some massive downtime. I had to set the servers off for like four or five hours or something crazy like that. And there's my alarm. It doesn't help, but hey, uh, Ring Domination got extended. Three credits were sent out. Only one hour left, and I was going to finish the event. Do all nine cards. I was hoping to have this really grand slam finish where I'd be able to get all the cards in like one go, but yeah, unfortunately, the game didn't want that to happen. I was going to stream it last night, actually, but then things happen, whatever. So let me know how you got on with Ring Domination this week in the comments section below. And what we're going to do now is we are going to finish this off. Uh, we're going to get the last two shards that I've got are outstanding, and then that's going to be it. Uh, I'm not going to continue doing the remainder of the shards because it's it's pointless at this stage. So here's Kevin Owens, who is a Summer Sam card. Uh, not that it makes any difference to me. And then we have Mark Henry. And you see what I was planning to do here. I was planning to have every single one of like, the last shard and then go ahead and do it. And then uh, I kind of screwed up on the hardened card. <laughs> I kind of just went and did it. Uh, and then uh, basically the servers went down. The network, the waiting on network simulator, it, it went into overdrive. So we did manage to get six cards done and got some way through the legendary. So we got somewhere. And the thing is, it's super beneficial for anyone who is looking to get more WrestleMania pulls, more Ultimate pulls more elite pulls it's just such a good way of getting as many resets off the board now i haven't actually seen if we'll get another pull off the board and i'll maybe do that another time because i don't think i've done enough resets to do that yet but maybe that'll work when we go up to wrestlemania 33 plus plus again maybe we'll do it in like another another episode or something but let's go and get our king of the ring rewards i am excited about this this is my first WrestleMania 33 King of the Ring. And you know what? It really wasn't easy. It was so difficult to get to this point. And I had two WrestleMania 33 pros in my deck. I mean, come on. What what the hell? 
Denzel 35 uh, and Spock were in my way. Spock, on the second game, I was thinking, God, I'm going to get quarter bumps. My first ever WrestleMania 33 King of the Ring. And then Denzel took the first game, so I was thinking, I'm going to get so bumped. But I managed to get through and beat Spencer. I think he's Russian. But, but GG's to everyone. That is my first WrestleMania King of the Ring. If you've been any King of the Rings and got yourself a reward or a pro or whatever, that's down in the comment section. As we go and get us our first ever WrestleMania 33 King of the Ring reward. Let's do this. WrestleMania 33 card and an ultimate card as well. Uh, just anything. A female pro would be nice. <laughs> I'm not expecting it. Uh, and just any pros. Any pros, any cards, whatever. Let's go do this claim award right now. Whew, let's go. Claim award, it is. <laughs> yes! That's the one card in WrestleMania 33 tier that I wanted. Triple H is actually the second best card in the tier. Unreal. Finally got in the game, Triple H, and I can finally use that picture I said in my first WrestleMania 33 video. I said, I want Triple H because I can use that image on him. I'm very, very, very happy for this. It's not a female, no, but it's Triple H. Come on. It's like one of my favorite wrestlers I ever. And the fact that he is so overpowered in this tier. He is crazily good. So, yeah. I finally got the game Triple H. Very happy about that. And we get Roman, <laughs> get Roman Reigns. <laughs> oh dear. But that's Triple H. Who cares about Roman Reigns when you got Triple H? So we're going to lock him in and have a look at the cards we've got. We found Triple H. We're going to just go into the images. I'm going to have a look at what the fusion looks like at the moment. But I imagine it's going to be cut off at the top. It's going to have like a, it's going to get scalped. Uh, here we go. Let's put him in. Uh, yeah, it's not going to look great right now because it's got the top cut off. But apparently that happens with all of the single cards. The fact of the matter is, as soon as I get this card proed, it's going to be awesome. Um, but for the time being, we're just going to go with any image. You know what? I'm just going to go with... There's actually loads of images we can use here. Um, there's tons of images we can use. We've got the... Oh, that looks good. The Summer Sam card. Yeah, we're going to go with that. That's the Elite Throwback Triple H. I'm going to go with that until I get myself a pro. Uh, and then I'll be using the Fusion image because just that image is one of the best and my most favorite in, in the game. It's simple as that. Let me know what you got in your most recent King of the Ring. If you just got yourself your first WrestleMania 33 card from a King of the Ring. Or using your first WrestleMania 33 uh, King of the Ring in general. Or whatever King of the Ring award you got. Whether it's a pro or whatever. Let me know in the comments section. And... Don't forget to like this video. We're going to do it for pedigree this time because it's it's in honor of the game. The Cerebral Assassin, Triple H. And obviously, don't forget to subscribe using the little widget just down here. And also, go to the description below for details to Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Like, follow those pages, and blah, and that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. One last thing. And that is to... Zoomie!